So now I'm going to demonstrate a diesel generator that we have that's on complete auto start. We made the connections for it so it'll start. It's completely auto start. 7,000 watt Kohler or Kubota diesel generator inside there. We're sitting at 52.8 volts right now. There's no generator running. I have a load here I'm going to turn on to uh, lower the battery. It's a lithium, lithium 6.6 .6 kilowatt. Just going to get the heater turned on. So I'm putting quite a load on it right now to lower them numbers down. I am making, oh, I can't see it. 560 watts from the Sun so as soon as it drops down to 51 just for purposes here today I have it set so the generator will start and then generator starter the AGS is this here so it talks in the system it's a Schneider also it's the lithium battery 6.6 .6 kilowatts and this here the cords just run out and hook up to that diesel generator. In the background you can see we've got some LG panels and a 7000 watt fuel injected Honda AGS automatic gen start also. So 51.1, we're getting close. It's kind of like watching a toaster. 51.2, I'm just going to turn that heater up a bit higher. So I just kicked the heater up to 5,000 watts. Try to speed this process up. It's coming. There we go. We're below 51. So it'll sit there for 15 seconds or so. If we go down, we can actually see it getting ready. It should do it. Still at 50, 51. Lithium is so strong. If that was a lead acid, it would have drooped already. Oh, maybe now we'll do it. Have to put more load on that thing. There it goes. There, just started. Generator's running. So the generator's running. It's just warming up right now. I have it set for. I have it set to warm up for 10 seconds, I think, or 20 seconds. So it shows it's there. There we go. Just came online. Generator's running. Charging 4,000 watts. Or sorry, generator's making 4,000 watts, 5,000 watts charging 55 amps into the lithium battery. So I'm just going to shut my heater load off. So I shut the heater load off. Now for these purposes I have the generator shut off at 54.5 I think. So that generator just needs to run for a while to 55 amps. 54 point or 53 volts right now. As soon as it gets up to 54 and a half the generator will shut off. We'll just go have a look at the generator, a few things. The, jet, the AGS is just temporarily sitting on the floor for my test or video here right now. It's still at 54.2, we're getting close. 54.2, 54.3, sun's still shining at 557. 54.4, well, looks like today's more solar panels day. More LG, 
315 watt panels. 54.5, we're getting close. Just gotta go a little bit higher and the generator will shut off. Gotta love those LG panels. They're so nice to work with. Oh, okay, so uh, we got 54.5. Generator's in a cool down mode. It'll cool down for 30 seconds. And then the AGS will shut it off. It's waiting for 30 seconds. There we go. Lights are out. Get shut down. All right. Today's brought to you by Schneider Inverters, an SW4048, so 4,000 watts, 48 volts, 6.6 .6 kilowatt lithium battery, 10 years warranty, and a 7 kilowatt diesel generator with AGS. Frank with CBI Solar. Talk to you later. Sorry.